Channel launch. Uh, we're just getting started here. We've got a whole lot more content headed your way. It's going to be coming real soon. Um, but you know what? We all got to start somewhere. So let's just go ahead and get moving. Um, today, I'm going to be playing Project Cars. It's the uh, Pagani edition, or Pagani, P I'm going to say a Pagani edition. Um, this is actually free on Steam. So if you guys are interested in really high-end driving games, uh, I highly suggest this game. Um, like I said, it's free. Um, I would suggest getting a steering wheel to be able to play it with. Uh, this one I picked up at a thrift store for actually five dollars. Uh, it's really old. It's a Thrustmaster NASCAR Pro Digital. So yeah, whatever that means. Um, but like I said, I paid five bucks for it at the thrift store and it works great for what I'm using it for. Um, and it works with all kinds of other racing games, and I'll be bringing you guys more of that stuff later, but um, I just find that having one of these, playing this kind of a game, it really takes things to a whole nother level. Uh, and, speaking of a whole nother level, we're going to be playing this game in VR tonight. Um, nothing, too, nothing too extreme, we're just going to hop in the vehicle. I want to show you guys a little bit about what it's like to play this game in VR. Uh, you don't have to play it in VR, you don't have to have a helmet, uh, but it does work fabulously. So, um, you know what, we're just going to go ahead, get things moving on. I want to show you guys what this game is all about. So, here we go. I can actually take off my glasses with my VR helmet here. Here, let me tell you guys a little bit about this. This is actually a Magic C M1 Pro which basically trans, I hope you guys can see that, but um, that basically means nobody knows what this is. Uh, I ordered it from China, and it seems to work really well. Um, I can tell you guys more about that later down the road. Uh, I'm looking forward to maybe getting an HTC Vive down the road, but you know what? I didn't always have the money to do that, so I sort of built my own setup, similar to what I did with the wheel. You know, you find what you can, and you work with it. So. Without further ado, uh, we'll go ahead and show you guys Project Cars Pagani Edition. So, my headset is actually uh, not in the best position right now. But what's nice is with Project Cars, if your alignment is wrong, uh, you get things started. And then at the beginning of each race, it will reset your headset. So um, you also want to be making sure that you're facing in the right direction when you get started. So check it out. Now, before I get going, uh, let's take a look around. Uh, I'll show you guys my car. I'm not really sure what it is that I'm driving here. But um, as you can see, it's beautiful. Uh, I mean, Everything looks really good. My HUD looks great. Uh, as I switch gears, you can actually see my fingers do what I'm doing in real life. Over here on my HUD, over on the left hand or right hand side, you can see where I switch gears. And I can always, you know, change my view if I really want to. Uh, but considering we're in VR. I kind of like to stick with the classics, you know, so uh, let's go ahead and get going. Now, as I said, uh, I am using steering wheel, very obviously, and uh, down below, it did come with some pedals. Uh, I have tried this with controllers before, and uh, without a doubt, you guys will see me crash at some point or another, but on a controller, it's, it's a whole other situation. It's completely... Um, this game, as far as I know, this is one of the one of the most, if not the most, uh, sophisticated driving simulator on the market. Um, now, I'm not really actually very big into driving games, typically, but since I've had this, um, I found out that you can play this in VR, and like I said, this is a free version, so I figured, why not, right? So I went ahead and downloaded it, and I, and I think this is awesome. Now, I've just heard that Project Cars 2 has just been released. I don't even have the full Project Cars 1, but 
I did hear about Project Cars 2 being released, and I checked out the trailers, I checked out the Steam page, and it looks amazing. Um, now, if, if these graphics aren't, aren't enough for you, I don't, I don't really know what's going on. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Anyway, uh, getting in car wrecks and stuff. And as far as I know, Project Cars 2 is supposed to be even better looking than what this game is. I gotta apologize for my driving, folks. I'm trying to stay focused and show you what's going on, but, you know, and if, if you can't tell, it's, it's, the game is pretty captivating, actually. It requires quite a good focus, especially in VR. You know, if, if you've never done VR, uh, I will tell you without a doubt, it is quite the experience. Um, even if it's just a seated VR experience like I'm doing now, but, um, you know, my eyes can't see my steering wheel in real life, you know, but, but as I can see my hands moving when I turn, uh, I, I get a real, a very real sense of depth, and, and it's, it's quite immersive. If you ever get a chance to do this kind of stuff, I, I highly suggest it. Uh, I do understand <laughs> that these higher-end models for VR are extremely expensive, uh, and it's not always within everybody's price range, but I'll tell you now, I mean, you'd be surprised with what you could pull together with a really nice smartphone and, you know, one of these helmets that you get from Google VR and stuff. That's not going to give you the experience that I have right now, but uh, it'll give you a taste of, of what it's like to be our game. And, you know, if you guys have any questions about how you can maybe get that going for yourself, um, hit me up. I, I went through quite the adventure. I'm trying to figure out how to get VR for myself on a shoestring budget, no less. And, uh, you know, I, I did a lot of trial and error, but... Eventually, I did get it to work, and now um, I've, I've got a pretty decent setup. And so, you know, if this is something that you guys are interested in, for maybe creating for yourself, um, like I said, on, on, on a bit of a shoestring budget, well then, uh, hit me up. Oh, look at that lag. That's the lag runner right there, guys. Um, yeah, but if, you know, if you are thinking about making something like this, just let me know. Uh, I'd be more than happy to give some people some pointers. Uh, take, you know, take all of the frustration out of it for you, or at least some of it. You know, because it is quite the project to try to put something like this together yourself. But, uh, but it is worth it. It is worth it. Uh, this, this is great. You know, and regarding the game, like I said, the Pagani Edition, uh, you know, if I wanted to, I could throw some other racers in here with me. Uh, I can. All of the weather conditions are customizable. Um, the passage of time is customizable. Uh, the only downsides to this free edition is that you, you know, you only have, I think it's a total of five cars and two tracks that you can race around on. You know, but. Hey, it's, it's definitely been enough to get me interested in the series because as soon as I can you know, pull it together and afford it, I, I'm, I'm just going to go for the Project Cars 2. As much as I'd like to get the Project Cars 1 going on, I feel like it'd probably just be a better buy to get Part 2. You know, I mean, check out the Steam pages of both of them. You know, check out the new trailers for Part 2 and everything. And... You know, if it's something that you're into, if you like driving games, man, I don't, I don't think it really gets much better than this. And so anyway, you know, don't judge the game on my driving. <laughs> anyway, here, let's, uh, let's just kind of take a look around. I mean, you guys look at the car, now that we got some light, uh, you can actually see how much detail really is in here. And the sense of the sense of depth is incredible. I mean, as I I really need to stay focused on the road if I'm gonna keep driving. I'm setting a bad example here, guys, but But the realism is awesome. I mean, you know, look at this. I'm in a pretty nice car here, cruising around in the mountains. 
having a great time. And here, let's just let's just stop right here. Let's check this out. Yeah, so as you can see, um, as I move my head around, I get a full range view. Uh, yeah, we get a, a sunroof and everything. This is great. So, you know what, guys? I mean, I can keep playing this all night long, but uh, I think I've given you guys kind of the gist of what this is. Like I said, if you're interested in driving games, I highly suggest getting yourself a wheel like this. Uh, it makes the experience just completely amazing. I've found myself playing a whole lot of this lately. And, uh, yeah, you know, if you're just interested in checking it out, like I said, this is the County Edition. It's free download on Steam. And I think that'll do it for the night, guys. But uh, thanks for dropping by, Lag Runner Gaming. I'm Crow. Um, make sure to drop us a like and a subscribe, comment down below, all that stuff. And, uh, and if you really, really like what we do, uh, drop by Patreon and show your support. Every little bit is appreciated and helps us get better games and better systems. Uh, maybe next time I'll be able to show you guys Project Cars too. All right. Well, until next time. Peace out, guys.